what's up guys uh, my name is Mike Alcaron and I promised you guys that uh, I would make a tutorial a long time ago but I never actually did and I'm sorry um, I know I mentioned to my my Flickr um, contact Sam Sam I'm sorry for not making a tutorial before but um, I'm making it right now because I have the programs but here it is now and I hope you enjoy it and I hope this helps you out all right let's get started so um, this is from my Disneyland trip with my um, girlfriend's family about two weeks ago or a week ago and uh, this is one of my favorite shots let's see what we can do with this shot um, for you guys wondering I use uh, W Photoshop CX CS6 I, I just recently got the I recently got the creative suite that comes with uh, my account right now Oh yeah, she just wanted to see my... While we're loading this up, I want to show you my thing except that I got... Alright. Alright, let's see. Usually when I edit, it's just... Um, I just adjust the brightness and contrast. Um, I do some lens correction, but I don't really use it that much. But, um, let's go to the settings. Alright, so this is what... I shoot in raw, so this is what it usually comes out usually comes out with. So I don't have to worry, worry about like um, adjusting my settings when I'm shooting. I just shoot and then post, I just work on post processing right after. All right, so this is what I got from that one shot. This is the Christmas Fancy Parade at Disneyland Resort. I like the Nutcrackers because they are awesome. I really can't wait for a to come back. But anyways. Um, so usually I just adjust the exposure just a little bit. I check I um, check if you're you're hitting the whites. And don't want it overexposed. Uh, to do this, you can just press Alt or Option and click on the on the slider. Yeah, it a too much. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to. All right, and then I usually just Crush the blacks. <coughs> Not too dark. Alright, just the shadows a bit. And just a little bit. And blur the highlights. There we go. Alright. Uh, I usually uh, bump up the clarity too. Oh, not too much though. set up for me. I sharpened up a little bit. Um, I do some lens smoothing just for the look of it but uh, you don't want to overdo it or you don't want to make it too noticeable. So let's open that picture up. Why is a type tool coming up? Anyway so this is what I come up with and now I'm going to show you what, uh, what, I, what I usually do with my post processing. It's like that vintage-ish look. I do a lot, a lot of my photos, but I just want to show you guys right now. So I make a new layer, you can just control shift N or um, command shift N. I'm still going to use PC for some reason. I haven't been using it for a year, but uh, make a new layer. Uh, I usually call it footage. And then, uh, usually I do a red color, but in my recent photos I've been just using white. Fill that in, set it to pin light, and then um, I select. This, I have this 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 layer highlighted, and then uh, go to image, and then um, hue saturation or uh, control U. I think. Yeah, control U, and then lower the lightness. There we go. Alright, and if you want to go, if you want to do more with that, you could just make a new layer, select any color. It looks good with any color, actually. It just depends on what you're trying to set the mood. Um, I usually do like a gradient. And then I drag it out. Once again, I set it to pin light. Um, Control U. Or on that select, uh, on that highlighted layer, and set the light. But for colors, you might want to 
Look it up. Light and water. Let's see. Natural damage. Deal with way too much stuff. There you go. That's what I like. All right, and then if you want to do more, you could uh, duplicate, duplicate the layer, duplicate, duplicate the layer, and then uh, I just Control T or Command T, and then rotate it. Look at this. I could even even it out a little bit. And then when I'm done, I usually just merge the layer. So it'll be easier. Control Pin Light again. If you want to do some last adjustments. That. All right. Yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Um, you don't want to overprocess it too much, or, or there's other ways you can do it, but this is the way I do it. I don't usually do the color unless unless I want to like set the tone or whenever I feel like whenever I, whenever I feel like I want to like create a story with my photo. I add some colors so I can um, look more dramatic and more, and it'll fit the Disney theme. Yeah, I hope this helps you guys. Um, I've, I'll be making more tutorials soon that I've been meaning to work on for the past few years, but I haven't worked, worked on it. But um, thanks for watching, and I'll, and I'll make a new tutorial soon. Thanks, guys. Have a magical day.